So this is HEDIS 101. A HEDIS stands for Health Examination Data and Information Set. There's Part C and Part D. Part C is Preventive and Chronic Conditions, and Part D is Pharmacy and Drug Measures. Here are the Part C measures. Adult BMI Management. Care for older adults, or you'll see that as an alphabet, COA. That would be Functional Status Assessment, Advanced Care Planning, Medication Review and Lists, Pain Assessment. Others would be Breast Cancer Screen, Screening, colorectal cancer screening, osteoporosis management, rheumatoid arthritis treatment and screening. Diabetes has several because diabetes is one of the most important population-based care problems. It leads to kidney disease, eye disease, heart disease, strokes, and dementia. Diabetes has four categories that we look at, four measures, A1C testing, and the A1C level itself. So they want to make sure that you're testing. They also want to make sure that the level is less than 9%. I mean, that's a punt. You should be able to re reach that. That is triple weighted, by the way. Nephropathy screening, damage to the kidneys, eye exam screening to make sure that's being done. Other categories in HEDIS Part C, medication reconciliation after discharge from hospitals, controlling the blood pressure, the plan for all-cause readmissions, and flu vaccination. So all of these are Part C measurements to make sure that you're providing the appropriate care to all of your patients. Now then the Part D, remember that's drugs, and there are significant measures in this group. Medication adherence, triple weighted. Again, you're scored by how well your patients take their medications according to recommendation. That's hard. Sounds and unfair? Well, you're being compared to everybody else. And if somebody spends the time and engages that patient, they're going to have better medication adherence scores. That's what this is all about, engaging that patient in healthy health behavior. So the first one is ACEE or ACE inhibitors, ARBs for hypertension, oral diabetic meds, statins, statin use for persons with diabetes and cardiovascular disease. 72% of post-discharge adverse events are related to medication. 40% of medication errors are attributed inadequate handoffs. So they go from the hospital back to outpatient. The drugs were all changed. Nobody picked up on the changes. That's what TCM is all about. Transition of care management. 20% of hospitalization, hospitalized patients are subject to at least one medication error per day. About 20% of which will result in harm. One in five will result in harm and the average patient is subject to at least one per day. Five days, at least one error per day, one error that can cause harm every five days that you have a patient in the hospital. You gotta be thinking, you gotta be aware, you gotta be looking at it. Here's some other things that, that we watch. A general list, adult BMI assessment, breast cancer screening, colorectal cancer screening, diabetes care, blood pressure control, diabetes care for A1C control, diabetes care for eye exams, and diabetes care for nephropathy testing or kidney damage testing. Osteoporosis management in women with a fracture. Hypertension, controlling that blood pressure. Medication adherence for cholesterol. Medication adherence for diabetes medications. And medication adherence for hypertension management. The RAS antagonists, renin angiotensin system antagonists. Rheumatoid arthritis management and medication reconciliation post-discharge. Does it sound tough? In the next video, we'll talk about CAPS. But does all this sound tough? It is. And in fact, if you're on that fee-for-service treadmill, there's no way you can keep track of all this while you're head down with a patient, patient after patient, hour after hour, day after day. That's what we're here for. You can do so much better financially and in terms of having a life, so much better for your family, both financially and in terms of being there with them instead of working on charts all night and all weekend. And most of all, you can do so much better for your patients. Give us a call at 859-721-1414. That's 859-721-1414.